different. If we all together. Well, society has made us different. No, not society. God made us different. No, no, we're just human beings. He made all no, of us. We all listen. Bluebirds fly with bluebirds. Red birds want to be with red birds. <laughs> listen, listen. Tell me when I'm wrong. Pigeons want to be with pigeons. Well, tell me when I'm right. Well, so we I, well we must. They, well, we don't have have, have. they don't have intelligence, but yet no. they stay together. We should have Whoa. more intelligence than Big them, topic, right? right? A lot to unpack there. I'm from Toronto. We have one of the most diverse populations in the world. 2020, still one of the most diverse cities in the world. Interracial marriage is nothing new here. I mean, the double standard nowadays is outrageous. You have a lot of people saying that interracial marriage is wrong and um, it's something that we should uh, advise against. What troubles me is that there's still this notion that interracial dating or interracial marriage or interracial relationships is something new. Nothing new is under the sun. We're talking about the 90s. So we're talking about a good 20, maybe even almost 30 years that it's been in my life. There is, an, there is going to always be an attraction, curiosity, or um, some type of, some type of level of interest between races. So you're going to have blacks, whites, yellows, reds, browns. They're all going to have an attraction towards each other. People are just attracted to things that they're not used to by nature. It is what it is. Naturally, you would want your children to look like you. You should want that. And that's one thing that Muhammad Ali said. Um, you got to be a fool for, um, you know, to not want your kids to look like you. But I have to say this. Even when he said this, and this is back in the 70s, right? He's speaking to what he's seeing around him. And that's back in the 70s that this is happening. So this is happening from the 70s now. I'm here to tell you that this has been happening for hundreds of years. How do I know this? You go back in time to, you want to go, where do you want to start? Even if you want to go back to the, the 1800s, right? 1700s. You have um, people from the... Medici family, which is a very prominent family in Italy, right? Who have mulatto um, relatives per se, or there are people in the Medici family who had, who were mulatto, who were mixed per se with black and with white. I'm here to tell you that uh, even when you had um, during the the Dark Ages per se, you had um, people in 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 England. Um, Blacks who were in power, ruling families, right? Who would have white servants, per se. You know what I mean? And um, it was fashionable at one point in the um, the Renaissance period. So in the 15, 1600s, just to give you a kind of a blanket idea of what was going on back then. It was fashionable for white women to walk around with young black boys. That's what was going on. We're talking about five six hundred years ago that was going on so i'm here to tell you that it's normal it's natural i mean to an extent i agree with muhammad ali you should want your kids to look like you you should want to pass that down from generation to generation but um let's be realistic man like this is this this stuff this infatuation with other races has been going on and will not stop current examples i got past examples i got historical examples this shit has been going on. It's not going to stop. And um, again, I'm, if you check out my last video, I spoke about Nature Knows No Color Lines, which is a book that I've you know, been reading. And they talk about it in the book as well, too. I mean, the double standards is outrageous out here. Like, you'll have a black man who marries a, a white woman, and that's bad. But you'll have a, 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 a white, a, a, a black woman who marries a white man. That's okay. You know what I mean? And it's just like, the argument is so... Men guys young guys just stay away from this nonsensical argument focus on being a better person and um just you don't even have to engage in this foolishness man we gotta worry about building economically uh we gotta worry about building generational wealth you gotta worry about being safe out here so we i have friends who are mixed race who have white dads and who have black moms 
when their white dad dies, that money is going to pass down to them, or that house is going to pass down to them. It's what you do with it at the end of the day. You see what I'm saying? So I just want people to be more educated and just not believe all this 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 media narrative. You know what I mean? Oh, they're trying to exterminate our race and all this type of stuff, outbreed us. And I mean, that stuff was happening since the 1800s, bro. What are you going to do about it? Not to say you individually, what are you going to do about it? But if you want to create, the choice is still yours. You have the choice. Again, what happens in your four walls is what's really important, right? So, again, that's just my little piece on it. I just want to, you know, break down a little bit as to um, the whole white woman marrying black men and what white men marrying black women. You know what I mean? I mean, again, the whole thing has been going on for centuries. It's not going to stop. So, again, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I got more content coming. I'm out.